waiting for hungry students hungry students this is a mystery it is for hungry students god is looking for hungry students you know pastor what is most scary that god can wait for hundreds of years until he finds one student it traumatizes me that thought traumatizes me it makes me repent better because i know god is not in any urgency he doesn't have to go anywhere uh, he is not aging uh, he doesn't have to worry about his throne his throne is steady he doesn't need to worry about you giving him tights <laughs> he's so calm like that so the only person that is getting wrinkles gray hair yeah. Yeah? we are the ones who are losing time yeah. you, maybe you guys know yeah. but me um, cuz the way you're quietly watching me i don't know maybe i'm talking to the wrong crowd we are the ones who don't have time and this god you know the bible says he has steadfast love meaning he'll wait for you for 80 years But by the time you're ready to run for God your knees can walk. Huh? By the time you've given your best of your health to Microsoft best of your health you've given it away to the companies of this world. Pharaohs have used you to build their kingdoms. And when you are spent off you're like okay Lord here I come for you. this has to make us repent faster yes. this has to make us hungry faster yes. this has to make us desperate faster god give me the grace to be corrected the lord be drawn to you tonight yes. amen do you know the way you say amen can cause the spirit of god to be drawn to you do you know the way you clap hands can trigger the spirit of god amen. do you know the way even your body language can attract the presence of god when you're hearing the word huh some of us we sit like we are in a movie theater relaxed this is why we don't have god moving in our churches guys what have we reproduced i'm about to cry what have we reproduced what has christianity reproduced we have reproduced weaklings please don't tell anyone okay this is inside the family even god god is looking at us and not, is not moved god is not impressed god is not moved god is not excited god is not surprised the bride doesn't excite god you know that we are called the bride right You know Jesus is the bridegroom. Yes. Have you seen these movies? Huh? Where the groom is standing and the bride walks in. And the groom goes, <laughs> he brings his kerchief out. There is some sense of excitement seeing her. But that's not happening. Sunday when we come to the church, do you see the groom crying? When we come to the presence of God, do you see the groom saying, "There she is." I shall let you go. 
when was the last time you excited the holy spirit when was the last time you caused a tear of joy in the eyes of jesus when was the last time when jesus told the angels hey shh, shh, shh. guys shh. my daughter is singing namesake christians we have become namesake christians now there is no emergency there is no need for god to dispatch his angels to rush for us because we are too busy god is looking for a people whom he can be zealous for the eyes of the lord such as to and fro searching for what for one who he may show himself strong on behalf of those who trust him his eyes is going what to show himself strong on behalf of those who trust him god is saying i'm waiting to flex my arm and here you're begging and pleading god please god please no 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 that's not the relationship he wants to have with you the relationship he wants to have with you is he wants to show himself strong yes come on he wants to dispatch his angels for you he wants a generation that will represent his kingdom correctly yeah, 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 yeah. the domain of the king the dominion of the king of kings the most powerful king is our jesus <laughs> did you hear that that is our jesus and yet we represent that kingdom so weak let that change be be obsessed be obsessed with this be obsessed to move god's heart be obsessed with what yeah be obsessed with what yes Yes. We have a high priest who's touched by our feelings. Hebrews 11. He's touched. He's able to feel our feelings. He's able to feel our love. He's able to feel our excitement and he's touched by it. He's moved by it. He can look at a scenario and he weeps not because of the problem but because of the people he's moved he's touched by their feelings he's not crying because the the ch- the youth died but he's crying because the mama has become a widow the only begotten son has died and the mama is alone he sees that mama and he cries He's not crying because of the problem he's crying because mama is alone because he's reminded of how the father would have been feeling when he lost his only begotten son to the earth okay i'm giving you too much now did you did you hear me yes he's able to be moved by that feeling this is this is the jesus we have he's not a robotic jesus sitting there Okay you stand straight okay you correct you wrong no 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 one tear drop from your eyes one thing that you tell him he will change your life he's hearing you he hears you he loves to hear you talk he's waiting for you but you you're too busy you're too busy You didn't take time to prepare for him. 
you walked into a service because of religion told you to walk into a service you didn't prepare yourself for him so god is waiting for a group of people somebody anybody that will touch his heart that will move him that he can show himself strong on your and my behalf that waiting to show what a mighty god we serve the lack of god in a generation is not his disability it is a lack of finding a student on earth that can cause the master to show his real strength i was thinking about this the other day the bible says abraham abraham was a friend of god friend of god friend it's not a it's not a easy title friend and yet the bible says for over 100 plus years the man walked without promise coming to him that made me sad man that made me sad how many promises should have come to you this year where should you have been here by now Where should you be flying to by now? Are you where you're supposed to be spiritually? This has to consume us guys. That is waiting for us. This is the posture of heart that triggers grace to locate you. what if we told you that according to the proportion of faith that means your man of god can be anointed but you have no access to it until you now activate that faith <laughs> you remember that young girl that was like a servant that she was actually captured from israel she was carried into another country now she is working for a general's mistress okay while working there she finds out that the general of the army is a leper she comes to the mama of the house and tells her i know someone who can heal your husband that is my prophet And yet when Jesus was talking about it what did Jesus say nobody else was healed of rep- leprosy like the way this guy was healed that means where did this little girl have a revelation about her prophet because this is the first time in Israel's history there was a leper that was healed So it wasn't like oh she learned it in Sunday school. No. She had an information in her spirit that she didn't learn in Sunday school. She said I know my prophet can do this. Yes. If you ask a prophet can you do this he'll be like I haven't tried it. <laughs> But the baby girl is saying what? I know. Ah, I know. Try it. Try my boy. He can do it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> There is <laughs> There is a proportion of faith inside you that activates a dormant anointing in your man of God. <laughs> uh, it's okay, don't go there. Don't go there. If you read it we we'll stay there all night. Oh my goodness. imagine levels of grace that could have been activated by now if just the people of god came into a service with an anticipation with an expectation but most people come and say let's see what he does <laughs> but imagine 
how much grace have we tapped into? Oh, 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 oh. Imagine the number of times Jesus is like, I'm just passing by guys. But one student along the way said, if only I could touch the hem of his garment. Sister, who told you that his garment has power? Did you read it in Sunday school? Did someone tell you? Did the disciples tell you that when he passes by, touch the garment? No, those fellows were touching and nothing was happening to them. <laughs> yeah. uh, that is why when Jesus said, I feel power coming out of me, the disciples said, Master, what are you saying? There's like thousand people touching you. What, what do you mean who is touching you? We all touched you in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> What are you saying? But one woman had a revelation that nobody else had. Activated a grace. So sometimes you don't have faith for yourself. Huh? But have the faith. If this man of God can pray. It can happen. Ah. Tonight, let your faith soar in Jesus' name. I wish somebody can have faith that there are certain prayers that have been prayed for you today. That you can't come to a service like this and go back without a blessing. You can't. You can't. <laughs> because. But the Bible is clear. The violent take it by force. So the grace of God is activated by the posture of your heart. The grace of God, yeah. And your posture of your heart is seen by the posture of your body. Not the three day Jesus lovers. You know the, the conference Jesus lovers, they went to that special annual camp Oh, they are on fire. They come back next week. Whew, fire is gone. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about <laughs> lit Jesus lovers. Week after week, you keep lighting yourself. The duty of continuity. Ah, you forgot my sermon already. That was one sermon that you never forget. If needed, listen to it again. Huh? I think it's on my app, Shaiji Matthew app. You can get it. God. I know it's hard. I'm not let me let me make it practical for you. I know it is hard, but we must keep the lamp burning. God knew it was hard. That is why he said you have to cut off every ash. You have to clean the wick of the candle. Pour the oil continually so that the lamb can continually burn before me. Is temptations real? 100%. Sometimes your flesh likes the temptation more than Jesus. Okay. All right. You are all acting very well today. <laughs> Any honest students in here? Yes. I, I know. <laughs> but we have to keep resetting. We keep cleaning the lamp. We keep positioning our heart back to Jesus. This is what will make you special. Yes. What makes you different is that irrespective of how your flesh feels like you don't go 
and do what your flesh says you drag yourself to Jesus and say no lord i messed up last night but here i am again sometimes the devil will be like ah you are a hypocrite look at you you are you you look your back again tell the devil it's between me and my father was your problem don't make the mistake of adam and eve adam and eve when they sinned they could have ran to the feet of god instead they hid behind a bush behind a stone how can a stone hide you from a god who can look through the stone ah as ugly as you feel <laughs> drag yourself to jesus and say okay god i'm back i know this is the uh, 368th time but i'm still back i'm still back somebody say i'm back i'm back i'm back keep resetting your walk with god Hello hello welcome to Revive Nations TV. We are so glad that you are here. Thank you once again for joining us and being part of this Jesus journey with us. I hope you've been having a wonderful new year so far and I hope that this word that you have heard has blessed you immensely and has encouraged you and has uplifted your spirits. Write to us and let us know where you're watching from and we would love for you to join us on our social media platforms. Thank you to all our financial supporters that has helped us to reach this word across the nations. Until we meet again, remember to stay under the mighty hand of God. God bless you all and shalom. Distance is not a barrier to God. Revivenations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. 